हेलो देर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल नाउ ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एट अ पॉइंट इन द ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड इज डिफाइंड एज द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पर यूनिट मास एट दैट पॉइंट ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद वी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू यू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वेयर यू इज द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड एम इज द मास एंड वी हेयर इज द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल In order to understand the gravitational potential, we first need to understand and find out the value of gravitational potential energy. The gravitational potential energy is the energy stored in an object due to its position in a gravitational field. It is the work done in bringing an object from infinity to a certain point in the field. So let us find an expression for the gravitational potential energy and we'll put that same expression here instead of u. and try to get the value of gravitational potential so now let's first find the expression for gravitational potential energy imagine that i have a mass m and the mass of earth is capital m such that the small m mass is at a distance x from the center of the earth that is the distance of this mass m from the center of the earth now as per the definition of gravitational potential energy it is the work done in bringing an object from infinity to a certain point in the field now, let's say i'm bringing this mass m from infinity to a point let's say this particular point that is at a distance r from the center of the earth now the gravitational potential energy would be the amount of work done that i have to do in order to bring this mass m from infinity to this distance r we know the formula for work done is equal to integration f dx in our situation the force is because of the force of gravity and that would be g m m divided by x square since the capital m and small m are separated by a distance x so the force between them the force of gravitation would be g m m by x square where the value of capital g is this universal gravitational constant and that is 6.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 let's put this in into the expression for work so we can say that work will be equal to integration of instead of f we can write gm into small m divided by x square dx and the integration would be from the limits infinity to r we can write this as so g capital m and small m can be taken as constant so g m m and it could be written as x raised to the power negative 2 dx uh, integration from infinity to r now this can be written as g m m and the integration of x raised to the power minus 2 would be x raised to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 and the limits are from infinity to r now this minus can be taken outside so it would become minus g m m and it would be 1 by x from the limits of infinity to r so the final step could be like i can write g m m negative g m m 1 by r minus 1 by infinity and 1 by infinity is 0 so this entire expression becomes minus g m m divided by r so this is the expression for the work done that could be written as the gravitational potential energy now that we have an expression for gravitational potential energy all we need to do in order to find the gravitational potential is to use the basic definition of gravitational potential that is gravitational potential is equal to the gravitational potential energy divided by mass now the gravitational potential energy that we have just found out is minus gmm by r so it can be written here minus g capital m into small m divided by r divided by m this m and m gets cancelled so it simply becomes minus gm divided by r so this is the expression for gravitational potential where capital g is the universal gravitational constant capital m is the mass of earth as in our situation and r is the distance of that particular mass from the center of the earth now let's say if you are interested to find the gravitational potential on the surface of earth so in that situation the r would become equal to capital r that is the radius of earth so the expression for v would come out to be minus gm divided by capital r where r is the radius of earth i hope the formula for gravitational potential is clear to you 
see you in the next video till then bye bye